Hi everyone. Okay, today we are at Jerry's Artorama in Knoxville, Tennessee. And um, I spoke to the people in here and yes, I can record and show you around and all the amazing, awesome art supplies that are here. There's like tons. It's like an explosion of art supplies and I'm just so excited to show you. So we're going to go inside. I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to walk in. Oh, actually, I really love their, their signs in the front. Like when you walk in on either side of the parking lot, there's this thing, uh, or oh, sorry, here. It says, for artists. Right, and then like you come in here, you go for designers, and then you go to the other side of the door, and you have for architects. I think those signs are so cute, and um, there really is a ton of things for everyone who's interested and has a love for art. So, we're gonna come in. <laughs> okay, so as soon as well, I guess I don't have to be on in the front, I can just put it like this. Okay, so you come in, you have all of these books and learning about art if you want to. Look at all the things. Okay, and look at all the sketchbooks, a whole thing of moleskin, a whole thing of all kinds of different brands. Sketchbooks, and then you have the register, and then there's spray paints back there with some easels. Okay, some illustration markers. They have some at Michael's, but oh boy, this is more. More is more right now. Look at all this. I know. I'm overwhelmed too. Okay. All right, look. Prisma colors. Look at how many, like this whole tower is all Prisma color markers. I have like a fraction of that. And who knows, maybe one day I'll have all the colors, but for now. I can just admire, look at all this, oh, and inks, lots and lots of inks. Okay, I'm going to pass the camera to Lisa, and she's going to carry it, and I'm going to walk around and show you, but I'm a little teary-eyed, like, you know how you get excited, and then you get all teary-eyed? I'm excited, because I'm all teary-eyed about this, excuse me. Okay, so we're just going to, like, weave through the aisles. There's like so many things, all the things. Okay. More ink stuff, ink stuff. And then here you have kind of um, pastels, oil pastels, ink chalks, blocks, all the things. And like, like I never knew about these pan pastels. So like pastels in a pan. So like you can use a brush or a sponge with it and it dries up and you can like take it anywhere it's so easy and then like it's like you know blushes but ink and then I've been wanting these ink tense blocks so I grabbed the very last set that's the 24 I played with it briefly at the um, coloring tea party at Sipping Streams and I really really like them so I'm getting a big set but they're Derwent Intense Blocks. They're amazing. So like you can, they're a block so you can cover lots of space with them and then like you wet it with a brush or like you use a brush in water and then you can like smooth things out and blend that way and the color gets so intense when wet or you can like use water to kind of melt down a little bit of that um, ink block and then use that as like watercolor. So cool. Lots of, it's really a versatile medium, and they have it in, in uh, color pencil format too. So cool. Okay, come down, look at all the color pencils. More oil pastels. So many things. We are in my favorite aisle right now. All the brushes. Look, okay, we're gonna do this. Oh man. Brushes. There's like a brushes. ton of brushes. More brushes. And more brushes. And more brushes. <sighs> brushes. So, okay. Look at these guys. Aren't they so interesting? We don't make cakes with these. <laughs> I was going to say, that looks like a <laughs> <laughs> We don't make cakes utensil. with these. 
Therefore, um, like when you do impasto work and you really want to get lots of texture, so let's say you, well, it's the next aisle, but let's say you want to work in like oils or acrylics and you want like these really raised shapes on your canvases, you can use these to create texture. You can like use this to kind of build it up. I mean, you would want to use a, a medium because if you do use pure paint, that's just a lot of paint. Make sure you use a medium if you're doing this. But yeah, you can like mold it like icing, hence the spatula. And like so many different textures that you can make. Like you can make a dinosaur and a dinosaur has actual like spikes on the back. Mm. Like you can do that. So. contemplating getting like a set of these but the important things are the brushes you know I'm always researching you can come closer so I don't have to talk louder but I'm always researching for the best brushes for us to use in class right I'm pretty serious about the brushes I know we're here for the fun you guys are there for the fun but I also want us to have a really like fun enjoyable experience where you really do feel like you're using high quality artist materials and so I want to find kind of a happy medium where it's really high quality but still really affordable for us um, and there's so many options online and it's really hard to just kind of like guess what it is what size like I mentioned in my previous video every brand kind of has their own type of like numbering and naming system so it's really cool to be able to come and see like all the brushes and touch it and feel it right and you can and the fine print you don't need to read the fine print because you can see it all you know and I can I love doing this like testing it on the back of my hand to kind of see this is actually a really nice brush I, really like this. <laughs> I didn't pick this up I already went through like one time already just kind of scope out the area and I've picked out the samples of the ones I'm testing and once I finish my testing that's when I kind of narrow down my new set that I'm gonna order but order in bulk but I didn't pick this one up, I really think I should now because it's really nice. So this is the, for mixed media, no wonder. It's nice and stiff. Like you wouldn't know this looking and reading online. It says stiff, but you're like, what does that mean? How stiff, all right? Or, or medium stiff, like how do you know? Like what that means, like, when you touch, you can't touch it. So you come and like, look at this guy. You've never seen this in a class before, but maybe you will soon, who knows? This is really great for making leaves and petals oh so cool and you can use different parts of the brush like oh, the brushes i want them okay so then like look at all these mop brushes like this is a mop brush so like when you so you guys are wondering sometimes in class and you get really like rough textures and you want to soften it out well if we if you're painting at home and have a little more time to play um, then you would get like a mop brush and you use it's like a blush brush like because these are more mop brushes you don't really see these in class because it's just too complicated to do in our two hours but for private lessons these would be taught but like they look like a blush brush but it's a mop brush and you use that to kind of soften up the, the textures of our paint it's so cool this I haven't seen one like this before this is like a you know, like a like contour brush, that's what it looks like, but that's not what it is. Okay. Do you want to see some of the ones that I've selected? Okay, let's look in here. And this, you know I went to a different store before too and got a whole bunch, so this isn't even half of it. Okay, this is actually something I've been really interested in the um, Windsor Newton the Monarch series double thick filbert and it's extra long both are extra long this is a extra long flat and this is an extra long filbert number five number ten but look closely at the bristles unlike you've ever seen right isn't it beautiful I don't want to break the shape right now but let's go and grab one that's already softened this is already softened so you can kind of see it's got a bit of give but not too much that it's soft and flimsy but it's a little stiff so you can use oils acrylics even watercolor because it's so soft and smooth this is like it's labeled for 
oil and acrylic, but I do believe I believe you can use it with watercolor if you're kind of like on the thicker watercolor side if you don't like to water it down for washes. Oh man, so cool. Okay. So that's the Monarch series. I've been dreaming about this, looking and reading about it online, and I haven't had a chance to play with it. Now I can. Okay, so I'm testing out a few of these. This one, the Simply Simmons. These are a nice economical brand, really affordable for you guys if you want to start up your own set. Okay, we got a nice wash, a flat one, a medium round-ish. This is number eight. And then I got it um, in another round, but it has a different, has different bristles, different bristles. You can see the difference. Okay. This is the, what is it? Yeah, anyway, it doesn't label what it's called, but they're synthetic. That's why they're so smooth. Okay, and then this one, another Simply Simmons. I'm looking for like a shorter handled filbert to go with my uh, short handled liners. Okay, and then, so I'm researching a few of the filberts, a few of the liners. You guys have seen like the really small pointed one that we have in class. This one is like extra long and slightly bigger because I know some of you have a hard time with it because it's so small and um, when it's longer like this you have to be a little more gentle with it but you can get way better lines. Script liner, that's what they're called. Okay, another filbert because I'm researching different sizes and lengths of filberts and then another flat wash. So lots of things on sale right now and I think they're on sale on the website too. If you go to jerrysartarama.com you can get any of these brushes and more online. So. This is what I picked to research. Let me show you the one that is singing to me right now. Okay. The one that's singing to me. Look at this one. These are the Liquitex Freestyles. Great for mural work. And you know I've done a mural, a giant mural lately, and or recently, and I want to do more. And I've been communicate I've been con uh, contacted about more, so we'll see where that goes. But this would be so much easier than working no, using it. <laughs> but it's forty dollars. <laughs> I'll think about it still. But I would ideally, this would be the one I get, I guess, because it's kind of in the middle. It's not too wide. It's not too small. Um, I have other ones that are kind of the same size as this, so this isn't super crucial for, for my collection. But I really want like a nice wide paddle one like this. I can handle this one. Let's do this. <laughs> brushes, brushes. Are there any viewers? How many viewers do we have? You got up to six, but there's no one now. Okay, well, they'll watch it later. It's okay. Some more brushes. Yep. Look at these paints, artist colors. Okay, we're just gonna go. I'm going to talk less now because I mostly wanted to talk about brushes. Um, now I'm just going to take you up and down a few aisles um, and just kind of show you around the store and the massive amount of art supplies that are here. So I'm going to take the camera back and take you around. Thank you so much, Lisa. Okay. So paints, lots and lots of paints. We are in oils oil paint land, a few boards, acrylic paint land, <sighs> acrylic paint land, but just walls after walls after walls after walls of paint, can't even handle it, oh the golden, I want to try that line someday, palette knives, can you pick out the one that we use in glasses, it's in there, can you see it? I'm gonna wait here for a minute for you to look. Okay, we're going. Okay. Watercolors. I don't really do watercolor. I don't have the patience for it. You guys know I'm a little energetic. So, but I do love the look of watercolors. And look at these easels. Easels, drafting tables in the center. And there's like walls after walls of canvases, panels, like all kinds of supports. Sean to the front, Sean to the front, thank you. Okay, look at all these canvases, different levels, different sizes. There's even wood to make your own stretch canvas. 
right here. You just put them together. You buy them and put them together. Different sizes. So you want to make custom sizes. These are also available. You can order them online. Look at all these canvas material to stretch your own. Would you be interested in learning how to stretch a canvas? Maybe. Maybe so. Let me know. Look at back there. They have custom framing too. So all the things are here. Look at all these. There's a good amount of these that exist in Michaels. So my favorite uh, are the Kansons. Here's a Canson. This one's drawing. We're in the drawing pad section. But there's like canvas paper by Canson. And look at all these sketchbooks. Paper. Single sheets that you can buy. Different tones. All neutral for different projects. so many okay we're in the mixed media and paints boards but I think I see this is my favorite right here the Kansas mixed media good for all general purpose look at that it's on sale if you want some you can get some online okay <sighs> beautiful look at all that beautiful for painting all these surfaces all the supports and then patterned paper the world of paper for any kinds of projects certainly hobbyists will have as much fun as I do here and then they have a framing area peekaboo to the framing area map boards frame I'm gonna take you to the easels now because let's be honest a good easel is so much help. Okay, there's a little board with all the different types of easels. There's so many different kinds for different uses and purposes. Okay, next on my list, I really, okay, I really want like one of these, the little horse chair, and then these kind of like H leaning frame ones, kind of like those. But this tabletop ones, portable size ones lots of them and this is kind of the drafting area for like architects um, lots of those and the lights of course you need good lighting okay portfolios I think this is the last stop I'll take you because um, I know some of you are getting really into painting a lot more on your own and wondering how to store things well they have these portfolios that you can store your canvases or your papers and your drawings and sketches in so like these are really nice you can put, fit lots of like sheets of paper I like canvas paper if I'm doing a whole lot then like there's these giant portfolios if you want to start collecting your work or taking it with you and this is for presentations like if you're going to show galleries and stuff and this is there's some stencil making, some block printing. I love block printing. And then the rest of the store. But yeah, more canvases and um, sketchbooks. I think these are kind of like the featured items. But, all right, I'm gonna flip them back. Thank you for checking us out here at Jerry's Artorama. And I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates for future live feeds. Okay, bye.